Hi guys, uh, starting a new project here for a uh, tiny home built camper trailer. So I got a used 2005 uh, 14k trailer here, which had obviously uh, painted on top of rust. Just gonna go around and show you guys how it looks like. As you can see here, you can see it has been just painted on top of uh, the existing rust. So I will eventually basically rebuild the whole thing, paint it properly, remove the rust. So this plate here on the fender, the diamond plate, what the owner tried, they were basically attached here, what he tried to hide as you see these bands here so you basically attach this with silicon and some rivets and I guess this guy did not even know how to work with metal as you can see when he cut it all these sharp edges he did not even bother remove that but like I said we'll do it properly he even painted the uh, rims Again, on top of rust, not even bothering removing it. So I will get rid of uh, all these attachments. Because this is some extra weight that I don't need. It's actually a lot of weight. So it also came with ramps. I'm also going to remove them. As well as uh, those brackets. So as you can see, I already started removing that by uh, using an angle grinder, just cutting those pieces off. Like I had the same things on the, on the back, so I cut them off, ground them off, and all the electrical will be redone as well because uh, they were done as cheap as possible. So when I took my lights off here they just uh, they just came off this uh, butt splice here and as you can see this deck the lumber here it's not even treated it was just uh, painted uh, or stained brownish so it looks like new as you can see here and this is the underside so I took one off and as you see some attachments stayed so the wood is basically rotten there we go that's uh, how this rust just comes off here and this is on the inside here so basically some of these uh, screws just uh, broke off some of them stayed went through the wood Here, this is all rotten. And I'm also gonna replace that as well. And then uh, the worst thing that this guy did so there's a gap. I'm assuming at one point he replaced the fender, and it did it did not line up with the bracket here. So there is a gap. He just used one of those uh, automotive uh, windshield uh, glue and put it in place. That's the worst thing you can do ever. So same here. There's a gap. So eventually I'm going to fix it. This bracket is bent as well. And I will have to weld this spot here as well. So once again, this is a 14K, I probably forgot to mention it's a 20 footer, so it's a 20 footer just the deck itself. So I am playing with the idea about extending it, basically uh, cutting this uh, 
end piece off and probably extending it for a couple feet because uh, it is really hard to find a 24 foot or 26 foot uh, equipment trailer where I live in Canada so yeah all this is gonna come off all that paint all those expensive stickers just because it has not been done properly in the first place but the reason I got it if you wonder you're probably saying well why did I bother getting it well because it was the cheapest trailer on the market so around here those trailers are usually go like if they're used they go around six seven grand I got this guy for 3400 so I thought I'm gonna put in my work so I don't have to pay so much it came with this toolbox again everything has been fixed just uh, as cheap as possible so like uh, it's like this this box that's where the brake battery sits it's unbelievable like if you look some of this work again I don't think it has been uh, uh, manufactured like this it's just uh, all these add-ons from uh, those uh, do-it-yourself guys that have no idea what they're doing so this is from underneath as you see everything is still rusted and all that has to be cleaned off and uh, I'm gonna apply rust proof uh, paint of course I'm gonna clean it off and then apply that paint so I don't have to go underneath here for next 10-15 years again this there's a, there's a bracket here for something I don't know what it is for but again it's uh, extra weight that I don't need so anything useless will be removed even this this uh, stop uh, bar or piece whatever they call it basically preventing equipment from rolling forward this will be removed as well that's gonna give me extra room here for my uh, tiny home as well as eventually I'm gonna tiny home is gonna go probably uh, flush with defenders that's gonna give me another uh, another foot or so So I'm, I'm always uh, looking online for any uh, new ideas or uh, ways to make it better. So if you guys have any uh, suggestions, as this is my first trailer, I did work around metal, I did work about electrical, I'm actually an uh, uh, electrician by trade. And I did wood with framing and stuff like that in the construction. So if you guys uh, think I might need to know something or something I could do better, please let me know. Okay, I'll keep you guys posted as soon as I get uh, some changes. As of right now, I did use my four and a half inch angle grinder Makita and I do have problems going all the way through here so I went halfway through and then I used uh, a hammer hammered it off basically broke off the belt not the proper way of doing it but at the point I had nothing else I just wanted to see how it works so I'm gonna get the proper angle grinder probably a 7 inch and I will continue with this here so once I get all them removed and kind of open the trailer up I'll post another video and uh, probably gonna see some of the electrical work here that has been done. Alright guys, see you next time.